Hi everybody! So as you've hopefully noticed, we've been posting loads of prediction videos for the final season of Game of Thrones and I'm sure you have your own predictions. And I've been reading the comments that some of my predictions, if not all of them, are super wrong. So I reached out to the patrons of God Academy to get their predictions and I received some really, really, really cool predictions. Maybe some of them will actually happen. Now I get to feel both like a YouTuber and like a commenter on YouTube. Now I can shit on other people's predictions. I can be you for a day. Oof. That's so much fun to just say to other people your predictions are wrong. Mm, let's start with Casey Coons, long, long, long time patron and friend. Hello, Casey. He thinks that. Daenerys will not die by the hands of Arya, like I think he thinks that she will die in childbirth and that Tyrion will be the regent of her daughter. Mm. And that Sam will somehow save the day with his knowledge and then inherit the reach and marry Gilly. Uh, I don't think so. And that Gendry will inherit the Stormlands. I really don't care about Gendry. I must say, I must say. If Tyrion will be the regent of Danny's and John Child, then it means that Casey does not think that Sansa will be queen. He thinks that she will marry Gendry. Euron will die. Pfft. Jamie will die. Pfft. Bran will be stuck in the past as some Night King. And John dies. Pfft. Kim Cortez has very interesting predictions about Bran. He's indeed some kind of rebirth of Bran the Builder and all the brands of the past. And that he tried to go back to the past to stop the Children of the Forest from creating the Night King, but he failed, so he became the Night King himself. And then there's this loop that he can't get out of, so how does he solve the problem? Kim thinks he's gonna cut down all the wayward trees and just stop the old magic of the Children of the Forest. Let's go to Catherine and Jason Lannister, long-time patrons. I don't think that this is their real last name. Mm. I don't know. Sounds suspicious. Lannister reminds me. So they don't think that Sansa will survive. Come on, Catherine and Jason. Come on. I feel that not believing that Sansa will be queen is uh, an affront, personal affront and a disloyalty to the channel. If I don't have their moral support, at least I have their support on Patreon, right? Boom. And they're hoping for a zombie Cersei. Lobelo Photo. She thinks that Davos will sit upon the Iron Throne, being voted as the most fair ruler. Hmm. He's never aspired to power, only to have a better life for his family and is usually away from the worst battles. So he's not at risk. Maybe he'll be sent to get Sam and they'll arrive well after the battle has ended. <sighs> Probably not. Probably not. Sherry Partial, another longtime patron. Hello, Sherry. She thinks that Jamie's Azora High and his golden hand will turn into fire. <laughs> and she goes back to when Jojen and Mira, they were captured by the, the Night's Watch mutineers and Mira asked Jojen, how will you know when it is over? You'll know. <laughs> she doesn't think that Jamie's purpose is only to kill his sister and he started out by looking at the part of, of Prince Charming and then it turned out to be Prince Horrible and now he will go back to become a hero. Actually, I agree with that, uh, Sherry. But, and that he will do something really incredible to erase that Kingslayer slur. Agreed. Philip Queers. <laughs> Queers. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Philip. Sorry. Long time patron though. Love you, Philip. He thinks that Arya will not be Arya, but a true faceless woman, not the waif. Somehow both of them died in the dark room. Wrong! <laughs> Jamie will die a hero, not a hero to everybody in the realm, but a hero to us. We will see him do something heroic, but not the other people in the realm. Actually, I like that. So he will die misunderstood. Oof, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Night King is his great grandpa returning and his brand Stark as well and everything is a kind of brand's dream. And also he thinks that Dario 
will make a return with the golden company. Ooh, ooh, Philip, did you read that somewhere? That's really interesting. So he, so Cersei would have Dario as the leader of the golden company that she thinks will help her. Wow, wow, that's really good. That's really good. Actually, it goes well with a prediction by Asi, a guest that I had on a video yesterday along with Rona. The power of King's Landing is going to just decline. She's going to be to rule on nothing. That's what I believe. I think that what will happen is after the war, we'll have a, a second place that will be like the main power. And th this power I think will Heron be... Hall. It's going to be like every, the power is going to go to there. And King's Landing is just going to be emptied out, you know, the Iron Throne that everybody's talking about is the, this really big throne. Who's going to sit there? I think it won't matter because the Iron Throne itself as, as a place of power is going to demise. Like That's that a taste. beautiful, beautiful prophecy. Yeah. I, I hope it happens. So I think Philip's prediction works really, really well with that. Dario can switch over and take the Golden Company to Daenerys in the north, leave Cersei with nothing. Boom, call confirmed. Great prediction, Philip. Anything that Tyrion and Sansa will have a chance to reconcile and will and Tyrion will give her the West. Disagree. Very bad prediction, Philip. Let's go to Lester White. Cersei will end up poisoning herself. She will realize the loss of power and that she has no future and that there is no future for House Lannister. Sad. Arya will kill no more after the battle between the living and the dead. She will forever be changed by the Winterfell carnage. She may go down to King's Landing to finish her list, but won't be able to go through with it. Tyrion will be exposed as ultimately being loyal to the Lannister name and not the Targaryen queen. Alec, long-time patron Alec. Hello, Alec. He has this prediction that he prefaces with. Okay, this might sound far out, but listen up. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be good. <laughs> and then there's a whole paragraph again, just saying, listen up. <laughs> so he thinks Benjen is still alive, disguised as another character. Dun, dun, dun. Probably not. Probably not. And he's going to be there to help Daenerys. How? Disguised as Dario. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think so. Oof. So refreshing to be able to criticize other people's work. How does that feel? How do you like them apples? And now let's go to a prediction by Nets Katz, another long time patron. Oof. So, because we all agree that magic will have to come to an end in Westeros by the end of the season, things aren't looking promising for Nymeria. Mm. Her pack won't be willing to be led by her anymore. This sounds like anti-magic bigotry to me. They'll read her out with a bit of Kipling. This is the law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky. And the wolf that shall keep, it will prosper. And the wolf that shall break, it will die. So Amiria will start wandering by the countryside, cold and starving. She could rejoin Arya at Winterfell, but as we have already established, that wouldn't be her. So eventually she finds herself with someone who reminds her of Arya. He is our favorite contender for the Iron Throne, at least among people who are good at baking rolls in the shape of wolves. Nymeria ends the season as hot pie dog. Okay, so this is it for God Academy's special patron prediction video. If you'd like to become a patron, we can continue these conversations over there. I try to respond to almost every comment on Patreon. Check it out, patreon.com slash academy. As a short aside, yesterday here in Israel we had uh, national elections. So I'm going to post today my analysis of the day after these elections. What does that mean? Also to talk about my appearance uh, on TV on an election panel on, the, on a news channel to talk about Game of Thrones and the elections, which was a great opportunity for me to shit all over reigning Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. But this is neither here nor there, so if you're interested in that, go to patreon.com slash godacademy. See you there. 
See you on the next video tomorrow, and for sure we'll see you next week after episode one with our episode one review, and then the next day a Q and A, and then another episode, and then another video, and another video. I'll try to post seven videos every week, every week, about half of them about the season, and the other half about all kinds of movies and TV shows and stories, philosophy videos, science videos history videos, and also coming up a couple of really, really thrilling, exciting announcements about the channel that I can't talk about yet now. So stay tuned, I'll see you all in our next video tomorrow. Bye everybody!